hello women. Uh, I'm raising my hand for you. You are at the top of every situation. So take it up. Take advantage of whatever position you have. Do your best and the world will recognize you. We deserve a Nigeria that know, that know the worth of Nigerian women. We want a Nigeria that know that the development of not even Nigeria, we want the world whereby they know that the development of the world depends on us women. So let's break it and take the risk. Well, um, I call myself a teacher. Women have been participating in politics now, only that uh, we know that the level of participation is not as high as expected. Yes. And uh, we don't find a lot of women really coming out to participate as uh, we want it to be because of so many factors that we are all aware of. Yes. So women can actually participate in politics in so many ways at so many levels, right from the grassroots level to the highest level. Yes. They can participate in politics. Well, my name is Fatima Mohamed. Oh well, I believe that uh, human beings are the most important part of society without human beings we won't like the state won't be um, a state a nation won't be a nation so it's important if we provide for the for basic needs that human beings need that's why i think i i basically just advocate on child sexual exploitation and the problems women face but most importantly we just try to my work focuses on health, education, and um, environment, which is wash, water, sanitation, and hygiene. We have all known that the political space is not friendly for women because of so much competitions, so much uh, money involvement, involvement, so many things that for you to really fully go into politics, then you must sacrifice a lot as a woman and uh, that is what has made it almost not so conducive yes. for many women to go into into politics but i think uh, the the best way women can really improve their participation in politics is if those ones that are already there can hold the hands of those who want to come up and lift them up yes. and so by by that doing you see you you realize that uh, those who are hiding will come out. They need encouragement. They need somebody they can look up to. They need somebody who can say, "Come, I want to take you to." So these are just the things we are really missing. The name there in the foundation is talking about every aspect of human being. So it has it deals with the basic needs, with um, the gender and uh, what is it called, the advocacy work, which is the awareness. Women are the most effective decision makers now. Mm -hmm. We can, you know, uh, all this slogan we use, educate a woman, educate a nation, we, we say it so easily. But I, I know that women, women have the capacity to do a lot of things. Apart from taking care of the family, they can take decisions at very high levels and you see that most of the time before a woman comes up with something that she wants to be done she must have really realized that that thing is beneficial to everybody but there are so many stories from this from the year i started working up to now we have so many sad stories good stories the most um, scary or let's say sad story about one of my patients that i help in teaching hospital she was raped by her dad I don't think that father was her a biological dad but I, I don't even care the fact that the man raped her was more devastating so we had to like talk to the parent to first the mother 
because the dad wasn't even willing to hear us out and he doesn't want us to he doesn't want the NGO to know about it because obviously I'm going to drag him to the court and everything so he didn't want any, anyone to tell us so they kept saying it's typhoid it's typhoid okay. yeah even the mom she didn't she didn't actually know that it was rape case because you know in our society we try to hide things yes. We try to, yeah, we try to have uh, high things due to societal stereotypes, what the society are going to say and stuff, which is really difficult because we need to come out, speak, so that he won't do it with anybody. That mistake won't repeat. Like, I have a saying that I always say that since I was in primary school and I heard it, it's not a mistake to make a mistake, yeah. but it's a mistake to repeat a mistake. Exactly. So, it's our fundamental right to stop that mistake from happening.